Thank you. Is this thing on? Okay, cool. How are y'all doing? Good? Okay. All right, so my name's Kate, and I lead the mobile team at Automatic, where we focus mainly on the WordPress apps. So there's 34 of us now, some in the audience. Hi, kittens. Um, iOS, Android engineers, and designers. So obviously, at Automatic, we support WordPress.com sites. But something people in the broader community often don't know is that we support all WordPress sites. For us, there are three kinds of sites. WordPress.com sites, Jetpack sites, which we can also um, use a REST API, and .org sites, where we use XML RPC because the uh, REST API still doesn't have authentication. It's really the ultimate works on my machine experience, hitting a nearly infinite number of backends, each one with its own unique configuration. This can make for a super fun experience, you know, when the user is stuck between us trying to tell them that we need XML RPC for the app to work, and their hosting provider telling them that it's disabled for security. Please don't do this. We maintain roughly feature parity between iOS and Android. And for .com and Jetpack, we're generally aiming towards feature parity with the web and Calypso interface. I'd say about 50% of the work that we do benefits all WordPress sites. When it doesn't, it's generally around what we can do with the APIs available. There's no conspiracy, just technical constraints. And this is why we love Jetpack and why we work with that team very closely, because Jetpack is how we can give mobile WordPress users the features that are really core for any mobile experience in 2018, like notifications. Last year, our main focuses were the new editing experience we call Aztec, media, no more broken windows, better Jetpack experience, and authentication. I'm going to share a bit about these, and I'll talk about what we're planning for 2018. So Aztec is our all-new, all-native text editor. We were relying on a hybrid editor, which was good, but it wasn't great. Um, there were some real constraints, and it was clear it was never going to be. So the big issues were around performance and accessibility. Um, so we set off to build a new editor in mid-2016, and last year we started rolling it out very slowly. So first as opt-in, then as opt-out, then as on by default, and finally we removed not one but two legacy editors on iOS. There were some intractable performance issues with large amounts of media on Android, which meant that we still have three editors on Android. So there's one person out there who's pretty angry about this. Please don't tell them where I live. Um, but by and large, people haven't really noticed. You know, uh, regular humans sometimes have no idea how much work goes into, hmm, yeah, I guess it's better. Seems faster, maybe. So the idea with media was that people keep most of their media on their phones. And so this was a place where there was the potential to create a better experience in the apps than we even can on the desktop web. So previously, there was this thing on Android that we referred to as the seven-item monstrosity. So it was a seven-item menu that people had to navigate through every time they wanted to add media to their post. It was really not a good exp experience, and so we replaced it with an all-new media picker, and we matched that on iOS. We also added the media library to iOS and made a shiny new share extension. The other thing we did was we modernized uploading. On WordPress, uploading media is a little bit convoluted, right? You upload the image, you attach it to the post, something, something, featured image. Um, Last fall on Android and earlier this year on iOS, we rolled out the thing we call Upload and Publish. So all that complexity is abstracted, and now it works the way people expect it to, um, and much more in line with other mobile experiences. In No More Broken Windows, we tackled a lot of the annoying little issues that frankly shouldn't have been issues at all. The things that left users confused and feeling less confident. This sounds minor. Uh, but it was really one of our most impactful projects. Fixing small issues often isn't the most technically interesting or technically challenging work, but users really appreciate it. And it helps create a sense of momentum with improvements in every release. In total, we closed 210 bugs, and our App Store ratings ticked upwards. 
We continue to make those kind of fixes a priority. So if you use the apps and you find anything, the most valuable contribution you can make is a bug report. My headset has fallen off. <laughs> OK, this is going to be fine. <laughs> no, I didn't want to do that. Um, OK, can somebody get me a handheld? Personally, I blame the patriarchy. <laughs> so, better Jetpack experience. OK, cool. But a Jetpack experience bought the experience for Jetpack users in line with .com. So this built on a big networking refactor that we shipped early 2016, where we were finally able to properly support Jetpack sites. This included plugin and theme management and improvements to the Jetpack connection flow. Authentication was a big focus for us. Our support queue was full of tickets from users who were unable to log into the app. So first we rolled out an all new login experience, and then we rolled out a new sign up experience, including sightless sign up. We also revamped site creation, giving people better defaults. I think it's really exciting that people can get started with WordPress for free from an app, don't you? So we've wrapped up all these projects now and moved on to some new ones, Gutenberg, Better Together, No Dead Ends, and Woo Mobile. So towards the end of last year, we started working on Gutenberg. I am super excited about this because I think block creation is much more natural and intuitive for mobile devices. It's how a lot of native apps work. But it's always challenging to pay, play catch up to the web. And that does mean that there's been some technical decisions made that we have to live with. Uh, we're actually using React Native for this, mainly because we needed some JavaScript parsing um, for the block data model. We've been able to wrap Aztec, though, which is great because multiple web view text views was just never going to be performant. We're trying to make this work more public, so you can follow along on the Make blog um, if you're interested. I'm excited about Gutenberg generally, um, but specifically on mobile, I'm excited because this is the beginning for us of, of seeing a scenario where we can actually provide some level of plugging support in the apps. This was just never possible before for so many reasons, um, but with a defined language and a more standardized UI that Gutenberg's providing, we actually see that possibility and we're really excited about it. So like Matt said earlier, the first step is for Aztec to support posts created in Gutenberg. Gutenberg creation and editing in the apps is tracked to roll out by the end of the year. So the core of Better Together is making what can be great on mobile great. We want to take advantage of the platforms. Um, so far, we've rolled out accessibility improvements and right to left support. We want WordPress to work well for everyone. We also release stock images on both platforms and spotlight integration on iOS, so you can use the search bar on your home screen to find your blog posts. We're also working on improved tablet and Chromebook support. So for No Dead Ends, the focus is helping people be successful. I'm sure many of you know building a site is hard, writing a blog is hard, building an online presence is hard. We're improving our onboarding flows and turning all our empty states into clear actions. We're also adding the new security feature of Jetpack Activity Log, so you'll be able to rewind right from your phone. Finally, we're working on an all new store management app for Woo, which is Android first. We want people to be able to manage their store wherever they are. And we're thinking especially about smaller store owners with this. You know, those for whom the cha-ching of a sale each time is really important. So that's the details of what we're working on, but what's the broader vision we're working towards? You know, I think of it as everyone should be able to do everything they need to from their phone. I think especially in the broader WordPress community, you know, if we build sites for a living, um, it's, we can't really imagine life without a computer. But this is the reality for a lot of the world, especially people in developing countries. Small business owners increasingly expect to be able to run their business from their phone or tablet. And we can't replace a computer for those that have one, but we can help make those without happy and successful. So that's what we're trying to do. Thank you.
Okay, thank you. I'm so sorry about that. Um, time for two questions. I forgot to change my slides. Oh. <laughs> not, not a problem. Uh, I don't see any hands up. I, I, I have one here. I have one here. There it is. Yes. Hello, I have one question. Thank you. Uh, if I make a photo with a telephone, yeah. but has very often five megabyte, and it would be better to have it on a mobile, for example, with 100 kilobyte. And is it automatically reducing the photo? Um, so we actually have some image optimization settings in the apps because obviously, you know, if you're operating from a data plan, you don't necessarily want to upload a full resolution image. So you can turn those on in the settings. Um, and you can find me or any of the mobile devs. There's three just in front of you, and they can help you with that. They are right there. And do we have one more question? Yes. Here. yes. We do. I can't, that light is right in my eyes. I, I know, it's horrible. Hello, hello. <laughs> Hi. Um, my question is as follows. Have you projected uh, the number of, tra or the traffic that you're going to get from the mobile apps? Uh, do you have any projection, projections on, on how many users are going to be primarily using these applications to connect with WordPress? Yeah, that's a really interesting question. So um, I'm not sure how much data I can share there, but we can circle back and, and do a blog post. Uh, we're seeing more, we're seeing like very reasonable growth of the mobile apps, um, although we only measure, uh, we're only able to measure that growth in like app store downloads or in people who are authenticated into .com and Jetpack. So we actually don't know um, a portion of the growth because we can't measure it because it's .org users. Um, our estimate is that around a third of mobile app users are .org users, so they are like a significant portion of our user base. Um, then, you know, kind of aside from that, your question of like mobile only users, we're seeing that group get bigger every year within the data where we can measure that, which is obviously .com and Jetpack. And can I ask one question while I have the chance? Yeah, of course. Um, so if Gutenberg is being folded into the plans in terms of the editorial experience, mm -hmm. 12 months from now, Gutenberg could have evolved into doing a lot more. How much can you see mobile apps replicating that? Um, I, I mean, I think everything is possible if we build with mobile in mind. When we don't build with mobile in mind, we can render some things impossible. You know, like the way that WordPress is architected today is a strength because we can build on it and we can make anything we want. But when an infinite number of people have made anything they want, you know, it's very hard. It's basically impossible to build a mobile app that can connect to anything and support it. So with Gutenberg, if we build with mobile in mind and we keep things more structured and we focus on like having a good data model, having good APIs, like I believe that everything can be possible, but it's a question of us prioritizing that and doing that work. Absolutely. Um, it's been great to watch Kate in action internally and automatic. It's great how she's energized the efforts behind the mobile app, and it's a, an exciting prospect. Um, will you please give it up for Kate Houston? Thank you. Thanks.